play a guy. Your character is based on a guy named Greg Lippman. Right. right. And you did you get to spend you have to spend some time with Lippman and talk to him? Can you talk about meeting him and, and what you learned from talking with him? Um, you know, it was a little different in my case in this film because although I'm playing a character that's loosely based on a real person, he also my character is also the narrator of the film and he's a tour guide through this world and so a lot of liberties had to be taken, you know. Mm -hmm. And I thought that um you know, Lippmann was very cool about understanding that, you know, that obviously, you know, uh, that, that, that this film was about communicating this overall idea and how this happened, and it wasn't about any one specific character. So um, he was very cool and very helpful um, in helping me understand sort of, you know, more just the, the sort of the financial aspects of what was going on. Right. How important is I it? I forget them all now, but but he was very helpful in helping. Of course. At that time, it was like gramming for a test. I, I was going to say, how important is it for you to actually know when you're saying the lines? Because if you like, take an example, like guy people who act in like Star Trek movies, sometimes they say they admit they don't know what they're talking about. They say all this technical stuff. When you're it's talking like about this, or something. yeah. When yeah. you're talking about this financial stuff, is it important for you to kind of have a, at least some sort of mastery of it as you're as you're doing it? Well, in this case, you ha you kind of had to because McKay likes to improvise so much. Mm. And so he'll just hit you with like, a, hey, just, you know, lay into him about your negative carry. Go for it. <laughs> and you're like, okay. <laughs> so you have to know what that means and you have to know what that is. And, uh, um, you know, but it, I think we all like, enjoyed the challenge of it. I don't think any of us uh, were people that were very interested in, in, in this uh, before the film. Mm. So McKay kind of springs pop quizzes on you in the middle of shooting, in, in a sense. He, you know, he likes to shake it up, and uh, and uh, uh, you know that's what he's kind of doing with this movie, and that's what he did to us. And he's just he's 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 incredibly smart. He's 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 very knowledgeable about this subject in particular, but he's also very passionate about it. And um, and at the same time, he hasn't like he no matter how angry something makes him, he still can maintain a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. about it so um, he's a great guy to work with and and for mm -hmm. you've uh, you've directed already once do you plan to direct again I mean, if you get the opportunity yeah sure yeah yeah do you keep learning from the directors that you work with absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. Any, any projects that you have in mind that you want to direct yeah I mean you know I'm just about you know I'm, uh, cooking some things up right are you still are you involved with Blade Runner Two still at this point. Yes, you are. How far along is your involvement in terms of? Are you have you seen the script or do you know where mm -hmm. where things are at for your character and that? Mm -hmm. I yeah. do. Of course, I know you can't say yeah. anything. But when do you start working on that? They put a chip in me and I'll explode if I say. Of anymore, course, <laughs> I, I know. I yeah, I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Mm. And you've also you've worked with uh, Terrence Malick mm -hmm. uh, and on Weightless, I think. Is it? Is it the name's changed I don't know what the, the name is just yet, but yeah, I got a chance to work with with Mr. Malik. All right, what was that experience like? Unlike any other experience, you know, he's he's a he, he's 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 he, he he's a he's he's a an incredible uh, person to work with and be around. Mm. What do you want audiences to take away from this film? Um, you know, I don't, there's so much to take away from this film that I think everyone will take something different from it you know it's uh, I, I know I learned a lot not only from from making it but even just from seeing it you know it's it's I know that you don't want I'm not trying to push that it's educational because I'm sure that's not gonna make people run out to see it but it's it's as entertaining as it is educational but it's a very unique film I think you know it has its own it, it, it's I mean it's as unique as Adam McKay is and uh, and um, I'm, I'm very proud of it, and I hope that, that people like it. Right. Thanks very much.